oil prices are recovering a bit uh, today, but still looking quite bearish, still holding below 50. There were some comments yesterday about the possibility the PEP is the PEP is discussing the possibility of extending um, its output cut program into the second half of 2017. Uh, but they also remarked that they will need non-OPEC countries support, right? And we are not sure they will get it. But what's really waiting on, on oil prices is the increasing U.S. production. That's why we have a, a small drawdown in inventories last week. The fact is that the U.S. stockpiles stand at record heights. Um, more rigs are drilling oil. There are more active rigs every week. I don't know that we have uh, an increase for nine weeks in a row, according to Baker and Hughes Friday's data. So overall, the strong pace in increase in U.S. oil production is outpacing or offsetting, better said, uh, whatever effort the OPEC is doing, right? I'm following this daily chart because the price is unable to recover above this moving average, the brown one, which is the 200 simple moving average, right? And I'm also watching how the 20 has crossed below the 100 with a sharp bearish slope. Uh, it's all of which is telling me that the commodity will likely remain under pressure, at least from a technical point of view. Uh, now, having recovered modestly today, I don't know that the recovery is more due to the absence of uh, news than to uh, some oil strength, right? And mostly it's due to uh, dollar weakness, as, as you can see, the recovery is pretty shallow because the risk in here remains towards downside. A recovery above at this 50 to 30, 50 10 region could see the commodity attempting to regain the further ground. But to be honest, 51 should come and the risk, as I said, remains towards downside below 48.30. Wait, right? 48.30, that's my level to watch. Uh, I would expect it to resume its decline. We test this lows around 47 and even go farther lower. Uh, uh, down to 45, particularly if we don't have an extension in the output cut, 